the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hi, this is Evangelist Nana Bunsu, founder and CEO of Empowered Women's Culture. Welcome to NACO's Network. I'm so glad you can join us today for our Empowered for Transformation series. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for giving us this precious day. Lord, we thank you for our life. We thank you for breath. We thank you for our health. Father God, we thank you for giving us a great day and a great fellowship. Father God, anybody under the sound of my voice, whatever they're going through, Father God, be their help, be their protector, be their provider, Father God, and help them through it so that at the end of it all, all the thanks, praises, and adoration will be given to you. Father God, in this um, fellowship or message or unity today, Father God, the word that you've given us today, the word that you've given me to share to your people, Lord, speak through me, take absolute control over my voice and over the hearts and minds of anybody under the sound of my voice. When they hear this word, Father God, whoever needs life transformation, whoever needs healing, whoever needs transform, uh, restoration, whoever needs peace of mind, Father God, when they hear this word, O oh Lord, speak unto their heart and give them your peace that surpasses all understanding. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's get right into the message. Our topic today, I've entitled it Security Umbrella. The Security Umbrella. Who is our security umbrella? God is our security umbrella. At least it's my security umbrella. Sometimes life brings us to a crossroads, which forces us to make some tough decisions Sometimes they are decisions of life and death. And when that happens, it feels as if the pressures of all the world is surrounding us. And it's inside of us. It makes us feel lost, lonely, defeated, and scared sometimes. When you're trying to overcome defeat, oppression, illness, restoration, shame and disgrace, sometimes rejection, sometimes it feels like your world has come to an end. It feels like all hell is breaking loose in your life. And when that happens, you don't know what to do. Sometimes you know how to pray, but you don't even have the energy to pray. You can go down on your knees or sit down to pray and no words are coming out. Sometimes your brain feels like they're going to pop out of your head. I've been there. I've done that. It's not a pleasant place to be. But the best thing to do when you are in that position is to look up to God. Run to God Almighty. Hide in Him. Hide yourself in him under his security umbrella because no illness or sickness can thrive under the security place of God most high. What is it that you're going through today that is making you feel this way? Are your children acting all crazy and their behavior or character is making you stressed and overwhelmed? Are they doing drugs and that's making you scared and broken inside? Run to the secret place of the Most High God. The secret place of the Most High God is where you need to be. Is your marriage on rocks? Is it falling apart? Are you feeling insecure? The secret umbrella is where you need to be. That is the secret place of the most, most High God. Surrender all your burdens. 
to God Almighty, because he said to come and hide in him. All those who are heavy laden and are burdened, bring your problems and come and lay on him. He will handle it all for you. Hide yourself in his secret place. Nothing that lives under the shadow of God's protection can be affected by anything on this earth. There is protection there in the secret place of the Most High God. There is provision. There is restoration. There is deliverance there. He can heal you of all sicknesses and diseases. He can turn your sorrows into joy. He can turn your chaotic mind into peaceful mind. There's nothing that when you go under the secret place of the Most High God can penetrate there and harm you. Whenever you're going through anything, brothers and sisters, make God's secret place the, the security umbrella for your life. He said his angels are assigned for you with a maximum protection under his, his, his protection. The Lord said, when you come into his secret place, it means you have set your love on him. So he will elevate you and set you up on high because you have known his name. So when you call on him, he will deliver you and honor you. And long life will he satisfy you and show you his salvation. Wow, what an amazing love and promises that God has for those who know his name, who love him and call upon his name. We are so blessed and so favored to have our almighty God giving us that opportunity to come to him when we are going through problems. The scripture, Psalm 91, is one of my go-to scriptures. A few years ago, I was going through so much turmoil. In that one year, I was very sick. At the same frame of time, maybe a couple of weeks apart, whilst I was still sick, I lost my brother and lost my business. And as if that was not enough, I became homeless. Psalm 91 was one of my go-to scriptures that I went for hope. And it gave me hope and faith in the Lord. The fact that knowing that running to the, the secret place of the Most High God gives me protection that alone gave me such a peace of mind. It really lifted my spirit up. It empowered me to keep on calling on his name and keep on staying right there under his protection and his promises. As I kept on stepping out in faith to pick up the pieces of my life and pressing on for progress in my life, my restoration and transformation came so I can testify to it that running to the secret place of the Most High God is the best thing that anybody can do for their life. My brother or sister under the sound of my voice, I encourage you, if you're going through anything, any problems, that you feel like you cannot handle it, that you feel like the walls of this world are giving in on you, you feel like all hell is breaking loose on your life, Turn to God. Run to his secret place. Turn to Psalm 91. Be like me. Do like I did. Trust me. This scripture and a few scriptures that I relied on kept me from losing my mind. Kept me from going insane. And when I say losing my mind, I mean literally losing my mind. Imagine a person being sick to the point that I started a store, I had a, a fashion store, you know, losing that, losing my brother, being very sick, I was heavily depressed, and as if that wasn't alone, became homeless. And I'm talking, all these things happened 
in a course of like a month or two. They all happen at the same time. You can imagine how anybody can feel going through these kinds of problems. But the word of God was my anchor. I held on to the word of God. That was what saved me. That was what kept me going. And I've made that everything I do, whatever I go through, whether it's joyful, whether it's painful, whether it's scary, overwhelming, whatever it is I go through, I seek the counsel of the Lord and I run to him especially when I'm feeling confused overwhelmed or fearful I run to the secret place of the Most High God Psalm 91 and I read it says who he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty so abiding under the shadow of the Almighty is living under the shadow or under the protection of the Almighty God. How powerful is it to be living or dwelling under the powerful protection of Almighty God? Number two, verse two, it says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, my fortress, my God in him I trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the precious pestilence, pericious pestilence. So going under the secret place of the Most High God shall protect you or deliver you from the uh, traps of the enemy, the traps of the evil one. And it will protect you from the ferocious pestilence Things that will harm you or destroy your life. He will protect you from them all. He shall cover you with his feathers. And under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. Having the truth of God will be your protection. It will save you. It will hold you up. And it will protect you from all the wiles of the enemy. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrows that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand shall fall on your right side, and ten thousand shall fall on your left hand, but they shall not come near you. So no matter how much or how many the enemies are coming after you with all kinds of weapons that scripture tells you, God's promises tells you, they will come, but they will not come near you. Hallelujah. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. You will be standing in the protection of God, looking at the the, the reward of the wicked, the reward, what the angels of God are doing to your enemies. You will be standing there harmless, protected, and looking at what's going on. Hallelujah. Because you've made the Lord your rescue. Hallelujah. Even the most high God, your dwelling place, no evil shall be for you nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give you angels charge over you. He will set his angel, give them charge over you. He will assign his angel to protect you, to keep you in your all your ways. And they will put you in their hands. They shall bear you against a stone. They will hold you in their hands so that lest you dash your feet against a stone they will hold you and protect you so you will not even hit your foot against this a stone hallelujah what a mighty god we serve you shall thread upon the lion and the cobra the young lion and the serpent you shall trample they shall you shall trample under your feet you shall trample the the serpent the snakes 
the young lion and the cobra. You shall step on them. You shall trample on them under your feet because God has given you the power in him. God has strengthened you to fight against your enemy. Hallelujah. They cannot stand you. You will trample over them. They will not conquer you. You will defeat them. They, hallelujah. Praise God. So it is important for us to stay under the secret place of the Most High God for all this protection. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. Be God said, because you have set your love upon him, so he will deliver you whenever you call him. Or whenever you run into problems, whenever the enemy is attacking you, I will set him on high because he has known my name. He said he will elevate you. He will set you up on high because you've known his name. Hmm. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in times of trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Long life shall I satisfy him and show him my salvation. He will not only deliver you, but he will also honor you. And he will give you long life and show you his salvation. We serve a great, loving, and mighty God. Put yourself in him. Put your trust in him. Hide yourself under his secret place. Hide yourself under his security umbrella and be saved from the wiles of the enemy. Hallelujah. Trust in God and you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. God's protection is upon you, my brother or sister listening to me. So have courage and be happy. And know that since you call upon the, the Lord God Almighty, the Lord will protect you, deliver you, and honor you on top of it and give you his salvation. He will save your life from destruction. So no matter what you're going through, whether your kids are on drugs or you yourself are dealing with drug abuse or depression or any kinds of addictions or problems, whatever the problem is, sicknesses, diseases, whatever it is, run to the secret place of the Most High God and abide in the shadow of the Almighty and let his protective coverage be upon your life. Soak yourself in the blood of Jesus and nothing shall by any means hurt you. It's been a pleasure sharing with you. Be empowered always and keep on maximizing your potentials God's way and keep God in your life because there's the, that's the only place you will have the ultimate protection. Nothing in this world can protect you than the protection of the most high God. Stay blessed. I love you lots and God loves you most. Peace be unto you.